What's happening, everyone? Jay Shocklast here, and check it out. Look at this. The marketplace is buzz buzzing with bees. And yeah, I'm the, I had a hard time taking myself seriously saying that. But uh, as you can see, uh, Minecraft Way of the Bee is a free map uh, that is available now uh, that you can go ahead and download and add to your Minecraft experience. You just bought Way of the Bee, and it's downloading. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty quick uh, download. It's importing it. And we can create this world just like that. So bees are the new big thing in Minecraft at the moment. And uh, I don't understand the hype behind it. But uh, if everybody else is excited about it, then I guess I am too. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and create it as is. And we shall investigate. Hello there. I'm so glad you're here. As you can see, our island is in desperate need of bees and plants. No one on this island has the parkour skills required to make it through the treacherous entrance to Honeycomb Hollow. A dear old friend of mine lives on Honeycomb Hollow and has all the knowledge you will need to introduce the bees to this island. Follow me to Poppy Isle Docks. There should be a boat waiting for you. All right, so <laughs> I cut out a little bit of the update uh, just so we could get in here. Look at this, this is a free world. I am not very talented at making things in Minecraft, uh, which is why I really haven't done it over the years. I just like to show off costumes and stuff like that. Um, but man, this is cool. The Bedrock Edition uh, should be available for everybody now. I know it just launched on PlayStation 4. Welcome to all you uh, PlayStation folks. I say that like I'm a true veteran of the craft. Full of mines. Who am I? All right, row. So I'm not uh, <laughs> great at this. Okay. Uh oh, the goose game is downloading. Okay, I don't know how to get into this thing. Oh, board. Ah. Okay. So I'm assuming I need to go over here. There we go. Aw, that's, I'm Steve. Can't I change my skin? Uh, where are my skins? I don't understand Minecraft lately. Uh, edit character. Uh. Purchased and owned. So the thing I don't understand about Minecraft lately is apparently I can't access any of my Marvel skins. It just won't let me see. It says restricted. And that's stupid. I bought these. And I want to use them. So, you know what? I'm just going to use Luke. And he's equipped. Alright. I'm okay with that. So we're going to row over to here. And... Explore the caves. See, I like Minecraft with, like, things to do. Like, I have guidance. It says go here. And I went here. There's rabbits. I wish that mayor guy... Oh, you could stick yourself to honey block walls. Oh, interesting.
Alright. I guess not that it matters if I'm Luke because I'm like I'm literally it's not letting me mine. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. Like I can't make it like you can't jump. It wants you to stick to the wall. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. Whew. You can slide down honey blocks, but you can't jump off them. Gotcha. Oh my god, I cannot believe I finally got through that part. That was awful. You didn't see the 40 tries it took to get there. Um, I'm not enjoying this, if I'm being honest with you. I want to so badly. But uh, I don't really... I'm assuming it now wants me to jump across here. And I'll tell you what. If I... If I jump across... Or if I fall... I'm just deleting the game, like, honestly. No, I'll post the video still. Uh, Alright. Oh, I made it. Oh my god. The watch the steam's gonna hurt me, isn't it? I don't understand what any of this means. But it's cool. What does it want me to do? At least I got around the invisible wall. Uh, am I just supposed to keep parkouring through this map? It wants me to go that way. I probably can't make this jump. Oh my god, I made it. I don't know how, but I did. Oh my gosh. I can't I probably have to cut as much. Like I could have just climbed up this thing. Like you didn't need to send me around that nonsense. I would have been much happier at this point if you just let me find my own way over here. I know you wanted me to see all those funky cave drawings, but like Yo. Alright. Mushroom hive, follow the road. Escape the rain. Alright. Oh, there's a bee. There's the bees. Mushroom hive up the hill. There's the beehives. I'm assuming this is the hill. I can't mine anything though. I think it's, oh, there it is. Oh, there's the bee guy. 
Oh man, you guys have no idea how much complaining I edited out of this video. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Wait, you're not a bee. Bees hide away during rain and at night, so you can't possibly be a bee. Also, you're too big. I need to get out of this rain. Quick, follow me back to my home for shelter. My wings are all wet. Now I can't use them until they dry off. Bees have the right idea. That's why you'll never find them outside if it's raining. If you're going to make it on this island, then you'll need to learn the way of the bee. Okay. Oh, it looks like the rain is stopping. Follow me. I want to show you something. What a tease. There's nothing in here. This guy wants to show me something. Oh. A campfire. Some wood planks. Now I can build things. Alright, where do you go, bro? You're all the way over there already? I mean, I have to hand it to him. Like, this is cool. If you know what you're doing. I need to just sit down and relearn how to do this. Achoo! Hmm. Pardon me. My hay fever is still in full swing. Where were we? Oh, yes. Here is your first lesson. Do you see all of those flower fields? They're the result of all the bees' hard work on this island. Bees travel from flower to flower, gathering and spreading pollen everywhere. Pollen is vital for plant growth. When a pollen-covered bee visits a crop, it grows faster. That's why I plant all my crops near bees. Right, let's continue learning. Come this way. Wait, where'd he go? Bees, like me, will only attack if they feel threatened. So don't do anything to cause alarm. You need to be very careful around bees, because if a bee stings you, it will die. Bees are attracted to flowers, so if you want a bee to follow you, just hold a flower near it. Keeping the bee population count high is vital for a healthy ecosystem. Bees love flowers so much that if you feed flowers to bees, they will breed and create even more bees. They're all following me. Is that all I do is just Not feed them? Not a beautiful bee for Honeycomb Hollow. I think we'll name it... Buzz! I haven't used that name yet. Yes, Buzz will do just fine. You did a great job out there. Did you work up an appetite? I'm starving! Let's get something to eat. Mm -hmm. 
That ham. bee nest is dripping with honey. Now we know we can harvest from it. When a bee visits a flower, it gets mm -hmm. covered in pollen. The bee will take pollen back to the nest and the honey level will increase. The first thing we need to do is place a lit campfire under the bee nest to pacify the bees inside. Take this campfire and try it for yourself. Uh... Great work! Now we can gather some honey. To gather honey from the nest, you'll need this glass bottle. You don't need to feel bad about gathering from the nest. They don't mind. As long as we help them, they will help us. Now, could you go gather us some honey? I'm starving. Are we really going to eat honey? Oh, there we go. Collect. Honey always hits the spot. It's a great cure for hunger and an even better cure for poison. If you're poisoned, just eat some honey and it will take care of the rest. I'm a bit tired of it, though. I would give anything for some cake. Right, back to work. Come with me. I need your help with something. As you can see, there are no bee nests in this area. That's because natural bee nests can only be found on trees. The south facing side of the tree to be exact. Beehives face south because otherwise, bees would have a hard time keeping track of time. They can always work out when to start and stop working as long as the hive entrance is facing south. Now. Let's build a beehive here since the bees can't. We're going to need three honeycombs and six wooden planks. You can use these shears on bee nests to get honeycombs. As for the wood planks, you can find some inside the shed that's just over there. Here is also another campfire. Don't forget to place it under the beehive before shearing for honeycomb. Return to me once you have crafted the beehive. Uh, where does it want me to do it? Apparently they have to be sprues. I don't understand.
it didn't give me more than one honeycomb. This is getting a little annoying. Thank you. All right. No bees attacked me on that one. All right, let's go over here and do this. What fine craftsmanship! This beehive is magnificent! This isn't the first time you've crafted something, is it? Yeah. With that said, I have nothing left to teach you. You now know the way of the... Achoo! Ahem. <clears throat> B. I will show you a shortcut back to Poppy Isle when you're ready. I'm sure you have a lot of business to take care of. When you're finished on the island, come talk to me in my nest. Uh, I mean home. Can I just take that with me? Uh, whatever. Right, it's time for you to head home. I've noticed your island is a little barren, so I prepared this for you. I have sent the beehive you crafted earlier with some bees inside back to the mayor. Also, have some flowers and these saplings to take back with you. All right, friend. Follow me and I'll show you the easy way home. Oh my god, is that like a cheetah? Here! Take this elytra, and like a true bee, fly back to your island with everything I have given and taught you. And remember, take care of the bees and they'll take care of you. Okay. What does this thing do? Okay, uh, <laughs> the easy way home. You're back. And it looks like he got everything. We haven't a moment to lose. Meet me on top of Poppy Isle Hill.
Let's start with the beehive. Place it down so we can get some bees on this island. Place it. We have bees now. That brings a tear to my eye. This is the start of a new era for Poppy Isle. Next, we should place the flowers down so the bees can get started harvesting and spreading the pollen. Wow, what beautiful flowers. I can't remember the last time I saw such bright colours. We're making great progress. Next, we should place down the saplings you've brought over from Honeycomb Hollow. Please, adventurer, place these saplings in the areas I've marked out around the island. Amazing! The air already feels so much cleaner. I can't wait until they're fully grown. However, I don't think the bees came quick enough. I've just been informed that one of the villagers has become rather ill. I've heard rumours that a honey bottle can cure poison and illness. Could you gather some using this glass bottle? I'm going into the village to see them now. Is that honey? Will that really help? Uh, there's only one way to find out. Oh. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it works. I feel much better already. Thank you so much. Incredible! You're a true hero, adventurer. We owe you big time. We want you to know that you're welcome to make this island your home. By the way, I've been thinking about my old friend, Bee Scientist. When you get the chance, could you bring him this cake as a way of thanking him for teaching you? I know it's his favourite. Thanks again, hero. You've really saved us all. Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and bring this over to him. Oh, wow. What's that you have there, friend? Cake? 
For me? You really came all the way out here to bring this to me? You're a true friend. Not only to me, but also the bees. I've noticed some big changes on Poppy Isle. When you fly back, you'll see just how much impact you and the bees have had. Farewell, friend. Thanks again for the cake. Is there a way for me to fly back over there? Thank you for playing Way of the Bee. Oh wow, it gave me a bunch more beekeeping supplies. And it looks like that is the, uh, the story. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Um, I had some difficulty with it. <laughs> But, uh, you know, maybe if you're an expert Minecrafter, you'll do better. I hope I cut out most of my complaining. But, uh, yeah. Cool stuff. So, this map is free. And you can do whatever you want with it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you.